hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl brianna i'm back again with another vlog and i haven't vlogged in like a, a very very long time but i decided that i wanted to do vlogtober because first off i love october october is my favorite month ever like october is my favorite month not now that this became like this big like hype before then it was my favorite month i love october i love halloween and so that's why i decided why not do vlogtober and then it's the last month of my pregnancy i am currently 38 weeks pregnant i have two weeks left so i decided that i wanted to do like start back vlogging and like do i'm gonna do videos about that as well but this is just gonna be a vlog just to like start off like vlogtober so welcome back if you're new like comment and subscribe thank you for watching and let's get into this tiktok bowl i just came back from the store i'm gonna show y'all everything that i got for the salmon bowl i got a few things just like for me and, and that i eat and then i also got the stuff to make the bowl so i got they said get sriracha sauce i got that I got some watermelon. That's just something that I like to eat. Now, I didn't get a full thing of spicy mayo. They actually did not have spicy mayo. But the place that I go to like get groceries from that's closest to me, they sell sushi. So with their sushi, they give you like little cups of spicy mayo. So I just got some of those. And this is like pretty ghetto. <laughs> but i got two of those one because I, I have enough rice to make two like bowls of it so one for one of the bowls and then the other one for the other bowl so i got that and then i got these gummies my baby makes me crave sour candy like i literally love sour candy and i I, went, I was looking for Sour Patch Kids, but they didn't have Sour Patch Kids. And I usually would not eat Sour Patch Kids before I, before I was pregnant. And now I can eat a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids. So I got those. And then I got an avocado. I got that. I got chives. You're supposed to cut some of those up and use some of those. I got cinnamon rolls. This is another craving of mine. So I got some original ones and then I got the cream cheese kind. So I got those. Got those just to have those. And then last but not least, I got some soy sauce. I already let my salmon soak it's soaking in vinegar and warm water so i'm letting that soak and then i'm gonna clean it off after i clean that i'm gonna season it and then from there y'all will see what i do and how you're supposed to make the tiktok bowl I just added my salmon now I'm gonna go in with the soy salmon on top I'm gonna smash it up I'm 
Now I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, now I added my avocado, I added spicy mayo, sriracha, um, green onions, and this is what it came out looking like. I wanted to show y'all before I mix it all up. So this is what it looks like after I've mixed it all up. That's everything in there. And now I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna record me trying it on my phone because my camera went dead. So let's see how it tastes. Oh, and I forgot the seaweed. I know probably if y'all have made this before or if y'all seen it on TikTok one day, I was watching me like unbag my stuff. Y'all probably was like, she don't even have no seaweed. But I forgot it. So I'm just gonna be eating it without the seaweed and see how it tastes. And then if I make it again, next time I'll use the seaweed. But let's see how, I how it tastes if I like it. I'm so nervous, but it looks good. It looks good. Oh, it's spicy. I will say that it's spicy, but it's good. I'm gonna try it with the avocado. It is spicy. But it is good. Um, I'm currently sitting in my car. I'm kind of upset because I just like shattered my camera screen, which is pretty annoying because it's like it's always something. It's literally always something. But it's not like shattered bad. I can still like see myself in the um viewfinder but it is it does have like a crack going across it so i have to figure out how much it's going to be to get that fixed now so there's another thing i have to pay for but i just dropped jacks off like not even 10 minutes ago at the groomers and he's gonna be there probably for like two or three hours and while he while he's there i'm going to go and get a blood transfusion now well, I think my doctor told me don't call it a blood transfusion. A iron transfusion, that's what it's called. I keep calling it a blood transfusion. Thank God I don't need no blood transfusion. But it's an iron um, transfusion. So I have to go and do that today. And I'm going to take you guys along with me to see how that goes. So my iron is really not really low. Not only because I'm using my own iron. Like I need my own iron. And then baby's taking iron from me. So um, I have to go and do that. So I just thought that it would be kind of cool to take you guys along with me. But um, yeah. So I'll see you guys when I get there.
So real quick before I end the vlog, I just wanted to show y'all how I organized her stuff. I'm literally so obsessed. Like whenever I walk past my closet and I see her stuff in here organized like this, it makes me so excited. So I did socks. Now I got these bins from five and below. At first I thought they were going to be too small, but they actually are perfect because her shirts and well just like all her clothes in general are tiny because she's a baby so this stuff fit like at least like 10 outfits so then i have her zero to three month tops and she has a bunch of white tops and some other tops in there her pants those are zero to three months and I'm going to, these are just on here with tape. I'm going to switch the labels. I did like a piece of a sticky note and then I taped it. Whenever she gets bigger, I'm going to switch the labels. And instead of it saying like newborn, it might say like three to six months or like whatever. And so forth until it doesn't fit in these bins anymore. And then I'll just use the bins for something else. But so those were... So those were newborn, well no, these are zero to three month tops, zero to three month bottoms. Newborn tops, newborn bottoms. That's her newborn tops in there. Give y'all a little idea. I didn't get that many of either one of these because I know that she'll grow out of zero to three month and newborn like really fast. So I tried to get at least like 10 outfits a piece for each size and then my family got her stuff as well those are her bibs it says men's but those are bibs there's no men's in there swaddles and then those are like headbands and stuff hanging right above her bibs i have her onesies all hung up all different sizes most of it is zero to three months and three to six months there's only a few three to six months, but I just used the hangers that all of her clothes came on. They These don't say like the right size, but I just used those hangers. And this one's missing because I packed her bag. I'm going to show y'all that too. But I organized, excuse me being out of breath. Please cut me a break. I am pregnant. Please, please cut me a break. But yeah. So those are her clothes that I was able to hang up, the onesies, the snowsuits, and then these are outfits that I was like organizing for the holidays. <laughs> and then these are robes. She got two little robes as gifts from her from my god mom. So I guess that would be her god grandma. <laughs> but she got these robes as gifts. And then her shoes are over there. I'm going to organize that. These are the rest of her clothes and things that she cannot fit. And then over here, I have... Those are two gifts from my mom. Pampers. Boppy. Blankets. Towels. All of this stuff has been washed besides the boppy. All of that has been washed. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm so excited about her little setup. I washed everything. This is the detergent I use to wash her stuff. And then I also packed my bag for when I go into labor. And then that's her car seat with a little blanket. This is my favorite blanket that she has. So I'm going to use that blanket when I go into labor. Super cute. Looks like it'll be comfy for her. I like how it has that pillow in there. Both of those pillows. And then I pack my bag. If y'all want to see what's in my bag, comment down below and say y'all want to see what's in my bag. I'm not going to do it in this video, but I will show y'all what's in my bag. But yeah, so that's her setup so far. This is my little like waiting for the hospital set up besides that the only other thing on my bedside this is on the other side of the bed is her bassinet and then her um snuggle me 
lounger and that won't stay there i'll probably put that in the bassinet but for now it's just sitting on the side of it